What's up everyone, Acid Burn here, coming 101, uh, showing you some of my old stuff, and some stuff I found at a garage sale, and it's pretty cool, so, I should be a member, the old Sega Genesis controller, yeah, there's, there, if you play like the Street Fighter game, you know when you get really into the game, so hardcore, these little prints right here, I swear up and down, if you play a little bit too hard on the game, a, B, or C, well, probably not C because we barely use it, but A and B will definitely get printed on your thumb. So when you walk around and you see your blisters on your fingers or whatever, the A and B will be actually stuck into your skin, printed on there. It's, I, I go crazy on Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. But yeah, just one uh, Sega Genesis stuff right here, which is, I love... Like I said, I love when they release different kind of version of the controller or system. Then the next one when they came out, I mean, this is not all in out of pick order or anything like that, but this came out because of Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter because then you got the high punch, low punch, high kick, low kick, block, and so on. But, and as you guys, as you can see, it's a little bit lighter. This is the one that is actually good for like video games that has more controlling when it comes to like certain things so when it comes to fighting games i mean like for your street fighter and all that you got a whole start to block or do a different kind of move and everything which sucks it really does but then they came out with this and then they came out with the same thing with different like things on the side up here or a mall comic picture on it or any kind of stuff so there's so many different versions of this one right here which I'm going to keep my eyes open for my uh, video game collection. And then, I got this one. This is the turbo one, as you can see. It's almost it's pretty much the same thing, but it calls it Mega Fire. And it has a little more red color to it instead of white. But, you got on and off button. Oh, what is this? Probably paint. You got on, so that when you push down, it goes doo -doo 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 really fast. Doo -doo 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 -doo, you know? Or you could just put auto and just go completely on its own while you're walking, shooting things around. It's actually pretty good for Mortal Kombat when you do your test room. You just hold down and on and hold down the button and then just go straight up to the past the yellow line and push start or whatever. And it actually will um, break the thing. That's how you beat it. By cheating with this controller. And as you see, it's not a bootleg. It is in a real um, Sega um, company controller. And this one is pretty much what this one is pretty much what this one is. I don't think this is a real, yeah, like I said, this is not a real Sega Genesis thing. Uh, it is a Blockbuster um, controller. And then the turbo, you want to full blast, turn it on. And it, it's like as if this and this is mixed together. And then this came out. So you could actually hold down a button when it's on auto and just a ramp, ramp page on your video game. So... Yeah, it's like I said, this is definitely not a real Sega Genesis controller, but it is for Sega Genesis, but made by Blockbuster. And so, and then on the garage sale, I got this. It looks like a Nintendo controller. As you can see, it is a real Sega Genesis controller. It's not a bootleg or anything like that, because if you have Sega we're on it, you'll get sued left and right. But as you can see, the differences. I mean, it is a, it does look like a regular Nintendo controller. You get the start button, you got this, I mean, that doesn't make any sense to me, because you gotta go, like, like that to start it, and then you got your fighting system, like your punch and kick, jump, jump, whatever, I mean, that is just weird to me, I mean, this Nintendo um, controller is way better than this, but... Maybe this is the reason why they decided to change it up. You know what I mean? It makes more sense. I mean, what happens if you push the wrong button? You know what I mean? So you got like that, and then you just start playing. There is a rumor around that uh, they actually Sega did uh, Nintendo like Mario Bros. their own version, which I think that's a bootleg, but whatever. But yeah, every every corner piece looks like this. There's Sega on it. Some of them actually has the word Sega on it. Some of them don't. Some of them are actually longer cord than others. 
So yeah, this is a Sega controller right here. And like I said, this there's ten times more than this. This is not all the Sega controllers that have ever been released. That's why I said I'm gonna go out there and find them because you know, like I said, I like to collect video game stuff and everything. But this is what I got so far. You will see these guys again once I find more controllers. All right, let me show you what I got when I was when I when I first came out. There's the Sega Genesis. Of course, there was a Sega, just a regular Sega. And then you got the Genesis one, 16-bit. Now this is, it gets a little weird for me when I start thinking about it, but look at this is, look at the size of this bad boy. I mean, you could put your 32 out in here, your, um, what do you call it, the, man, I can't remember, Sega CD, I mean, it all attached to this monster. Now back in the old days, people, I don't know where I put it, but I do own one, and if I can't find it, I might go buy another one, if I can find one. Sega Genesis was online video games. They actually had Sega Channel. If you're old enough to remember Sega Channel, you actually attach this thing, the, the, the um, cable company guy will come by and attach it to your Sega Genesis. So when you go online, you got thousands of video games, but... You can't play all the characters, and you can't play for a certain level, but you get to play games before it get released. And it was the coolest thing. Sega Channel was the way to go, to go online to play against someone else, or just play some games that you don't even have. Uh, it does help you all to do a trial. Like, okay, I want to see what this game about. And if you like it, go to the store and buy it. If it sucks, at least you didn't waste your money. But yeah, it's online video games. It's probably... This, oh, man. I want to say it was the very first online video game for Sega Channel because PlayStation did it one, Nintendo did one of them by Microsoft, but yeah, it was really weird. But look at check out the buttons. You got the reset button. Sometimes they stick, sometimes they don't. You got your headphones, so you want to wake up your friends or your family. The volume and everything. On button, the light goes on. You got your bottom piece right here, one and two. There was an, an actual box where you actually could attach two and one in this little box, and you can actually have four um, players into this little box, but that was so hard to find these days now. So there's that. And then years back, from a car, um, company called Buyback Games, we got this. This is the second print. As you can see, the differences on the size, the sizes down. However, you do not have headphones attachment or volume. You got the reset button, which doesn't hardly stick as much. Power on, power off, like goes on right here. Doesn't say 16 bits, but it does say Genesis on it and Sega. Just like that. It has less attachment, which is, like I said, why would you make a second print that doesn't have as much as the original one? And it would think you actually have more attachment. You know what I mean? But, I mean, look how crazy. Yeah, this is all real. If you need help. Actually, if you ever call 100 USA Sega and you're trapped, they will actually, they used to, they will actually help you get past the level. What's the secret? They actually sent me, if I could find it, they actually sent me a big booklet of all the codes in every Sega Genesis game. And, um, welcome to the next level kind of thing. It was unbelievable. And then after people would keep bugging them and bugging them and bugging them, they decided to stop doing that. So I used to call Sega Genesis all the time. And I used to call Nintendo all the time for help before, you know, they started going online. But that's original stuff. However... I got this one at the grass sale. Same concepts, I get it. Shut up. I think it's the same thing. Maybe again. It is original one. See if you see. Volume, reset button, on and off. And then the cartridge. Power button. Put your Set the card in there for more memory. I got this for ten dollars. You can actually take this bottom piece off, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> I 
but yeah, I just want this attached to another Sega Genesis. It's something like it's still the same, but you get more graphics. To me, I think you get more graphics. However, the games are a little bit weirder. I mean, this is what it came with, and this is what the car just looks like. It is, I guess you can see, it is a real thing. I mean, you can't really attach to it. See the size? See the size of this thing? You can't attach to it. The opening is so small. So, to get this kind of weird games, ta-da, it fits. So, this thing is, it will actually help you get these kind of games. And like I said, I think, to me, has more graphics. It just adds on to it. Now, if you have a Sega 36, or 30, 32X, well, you're pretty much screwed because you got to attach it to this thing. You see what I'm saying? So, get two of them for one for this and one for your 32X. And, of course, the rest of it. It is a beast. Like I said, it is a beast. Look at this sucker. But yeah, I got this little like, out of grass sale. Just walked in. Didn't look like they had anything. And I saw this little box. I was like, what's in this box? And boom! I'm like, oh, hell yeah, I gotta get this. So, like I said, there is a reason why you should get these things. Because they actually have other Sega Genesis game. The covers, and it's really weird. The covers for, like, you know, your, your Sega Genesis stuff. They look amazing. They look super cool. It looks like a movie cover. Like, you gotta get this. Then you got this ugly thing. With their cartridge. And their cartridge, it's so ugly. Like, as if some kid decided to play with Photoshop and say, Here, here's my cover. They didn't put too much effort on the covers. It's really random, really weird like that. But their cartridge for their game, like I said, it does not fit on this or on that. But it will fit on this roundabout thing right here. Um, so as far as right now, that is it for now. There's other Sega Genesis one out there. Uh, one of my friends who has a toy shop. He's, you know, toy box and everything. He has them at his place, and he's selling them. I don't know how much they are, but I want to go back there again and go buy them. They actually have a Sega Genesis 3, and that's very rare to find is a Sega Genesis 3, because, you know, 1, 2, and then there's a 3. Uh, I will, like I said, you will see these guys again once I get a new system. Um... But I, I just, I just gotta get more Sega Genesis. I mean... As you can see, I'm trying to start off my little Nintendo stuff over there. I got my 64 right here. I got another 64 up there. But as far as right now, I just want to show you the cartridge. Um, I have done video game reviews where you actually see me play, like my Street Fighter, my, my Ninja Turtle fighting tournament ones. Um, I think, I, I, I mean, a lot of people are requesting more video game reviews. I haven't got slapped by copyrights yet, which is good. So if that's going on well, I will continue making video game videos. So I will put my camera to the side so you can watch me and play it on my TV. And we'll have friends over and play, probably get a little drunk and get stupid and make you guys laugh. But as far as right now, I just want to show you the, the system first. Then we'll do some uh, video game stuff on there. But um, as far as right now, people are asking an arm and a leg for this little box thing i mean it's just just small thing um actually i did not know about this thing until 2000 and maybe 2004 when i heard about this machine right here i mean they do have a remake of the sega genesis where you actually could put all the games you could put sega super nintendo and nintendo in it I don't mind that, but I'd rather have the original ones. Even if I had to get a bootleg, maybe I'd get those. But I want the real deal. You know what I mean? Something that tells me when you have to really have the real stuff. It It's just cooler that way. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. But if you know any other Sega Genesis out there that I didn't mention, maybe there's a Sega Genesis 4, 5, 6, whatever... Place it on the put your comments on, put your comments on the bottom and tell me I want to hear it I want to see it if you got pictures or videos if you review it tell me I want to check out your review on as well, um, but yeah this thing does come off it just pops right off and it's just like this but I'm gonna leave this on for this system 
and then hopefully I can find my 32X and Sega CD. They're supposed to attach over here. They do have a little plastic thing on the bottom so they won't fall off and move around. It just holds onto them nicely, which is like a hundred bucks for it. But as far as right now, push a like if you like this review. Um, hope you guys help you. Oh, hopefully I'm helping you guys on your collection to show you what's out there. I'm not just trying to show off to be like rude or anything. I'm just showing my collection what I like to collect, and hopefully it will help you on your review as well. Like, hey. If you collect Sega Genesis, you collect video games, did you know about this? Let me show you what it is so you can go out there and buy it for your own collection as well. Um, and if you're a video game girl, what's up? <laughs> oh, man, I would love to have a video game girlfriend or anime girl. Anyways, going off topic. But there you guys have it. Boom, boom. I've just been wanting to do this review for a long time, but I haven't been getting days off because of work. But, um, alright, that is it, I'm rambling, blah, 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 so what do you guys think? Um, I got, like I said, I got some video games for this thing right here, I had it for quite a while, some of them are stupid and sports-like, and I don't care for any sports video games, unless it's Mutant League Football, or something like Ground there, but, yeah, so there you guys have it, and like I said, I promise you a video game review where you can see us play the video game and everything, and I'll teach you some codes and stuff, like I did with the other ones. So, that's it for now. To be continued, guys. Thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. And keep collecting, guys. Happy hunting.